All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do a radiator flush. A lot of things you'll need. You'll need uh, antifreeze. Um, you can buy just antifreeze or you can buy 50-50 pre-diluted antifreeze. Um, with this one, all you're going to do is put about 50% antifreeze in and about 50% water. Uh, I got a leak in my radiator, a small leak. So I'm going to put stop leak in there and I might as well show you what to do there. What you're going to do first, pop your hood make sure your engine is cool because taking off a hot radiator cap can cause death and it can scald you very very badly um, you have your overflow tank over here and you have your uh, radiator cap right here uh, normally you push down on that you turn it I already popped it off it's gonna spray coolant because of the pressure it's it's really sunny out so it's kinda hard to uh, to get a good shot of this but down in there you can see where it splashed right there. So, all you're going to do is just pop off this cap here. Like that. Set that off to the side. And then that's where all your uh, fluid's going to go. Then you're going to need a hose uh, to flush your system out. And then the next thing we do is we're going to go under the engine and we're going to pull the plug out to let all the coolant drain out. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Alright, now that we're under the engine, if you see that little plug right there, this plug right here, that is the plug for your radiator. Um, so what you're going to do, it's going to spray everywhere. Oh, put my head in engine oil. Again, nice. I have a thing for putting my head in oil. Well, there's the plug. All you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it out. Just screws off. Get ready, cause it's coming. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so now when that happens, um, that's a really bad sign. Uh, I pulled the plug out and no antifreeze came out, which means it needs to be flushed. So normally you would do this in a good way. You would uh, get rid of your freeze it the right way, drain it into a pan all that stuff but I don't give a fuck I'm just gonna let it drain on the ground but let's go to the top of the engine and I'll show you what to do alright now that we're back at the top of the engine uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hose and you're gonna stick it in the top of your radiator just like that just to where it's nice and snug and you can turn the water on let's turn it on slowly so it doesn't go everywhere Starting to pour out there. Just like that. Because of all the pressure buildup and everything. So push, push down on it to ensure that it gets in through there. Second, I'll be back with. All right, sorry about that. It was uh, clogged, but uh, once you get it running right, with the hose in the radiator, it's gonna have that stream of water coming out of that drain plug like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your system on to flush your cooling system. So you're gonna clean it all up. I'll be back to you in a minute. You just let it do that for about 30 minutes. 
All right, guys, now that you got your radiator flushed and everything, uh, you got your radiator seal stuff in there, uh, you're just going to take a radiator funnel, a cup, an antifreeze, and get a hose or whatever to fill it up with water. Now I'm just going to show you what I do. What I do is I put about, I just take, you take your cup, take your antifreeze, you fill your cup up with antifreeze. Just like that. You pour it in your funnel. Then you take your hose, fill your cup up with water. Put it in your funnel. Then you keep doing that and repeating the process. Same way. Once again, just radiator fluid. Pop that in your funnel. Looks like she's just about full. Just let that go down in there. But you do that, and then you add water, 50-50, all the way until it's full. And I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Alrighty. Um, now that we uh, got the coolant in, uh, you turn your truck on, car, truck, whatever you got. Let it run for about 10-15 minutes and uh, just bring it up to temperature. Um, try not to overfill your radiator coolant overflow tank like I did. Because now I got uh, coolant kind of coming out, coming out of that until it uh, fucking isn't filled so much. So that's the only reason that's happening there. That's because I overfilled it. Don't overfill it. And then, uh, basically just take a look at your plug. Make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. And, uh, last thing, just make sure your engine doesn't overheat. Just watch your temperature gauge. And, uh, that's about it. So there's, uh, there's a coolant flush for you guys. Um, it'll be a while before I get my next video out because I'm going to be on vacation. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, rate me, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you next time.